The MXP Quant 500 Excel Kit workflow is based on a combination of several experimental steps which are demonstrated in this video. We will see the step-by-step -step procedure to be followed in the laboratory and at the LCMS instrument. Analysis of the kit combines liquid chromatography requiring an LC column and flow injection analysis methods. The kit can be used in a variety of application areas such as biomarker discovery, disease phenotyping, clinical research, pharmaceutical R&D, nutritional analysis, or environmental effects. The Quant 500 XL kit is shipped in two packages. Components which require continuous cooling are shipped on dry ice. Other components are shipped at ambient temperature. Keep the Quant 500 and XL kit plates in the plastic bags which are sealed under nitrogen until use. Wear cryo gloves while handling the contents of the box. Open the box carefully and remove the boxes from the dry ice. Always check the warm mark document inside the box and take a photo of it for documentation. The light blue box contains the vial box, which includes test samples for system suitability test, calibration standards, quality controls, and the two kit plates for Quant 500 and XL parts respectively. Store the light blue box containing the kits and consumables directly at minus 80 degrees Celsius. The dark blue box contains three dilution plates, silicone mats, FIA ampules, and is stored at room temperature. Biocrates can only guarantee a proper kit performance if the plate is stored unopened in its original plastic bag and away from light. Please also check the expiration date of each kit plate which is written on the outside of the light blue box. Rinse all solvent bottles before use with at least water, isopropanol, methanol, and finally, the main component of the solvent. Prepare all solvents A, B, extraction solvent, wash solvent, and FIA solvent as described in the user manual. Afterward, install the solvents at the MS platform. Before starting with the kit, make sure that you have received an appropriate column as specified in the kit requirements document. To check the LCMS system performance, prepare and run the system suitability tests which are provided with each kit. The SST criteria is well explained in the Quant 500 Excel user manual. We recommend to perform first the FIA and FIA Excel system suitability test, followed by the LC system suitability test. If the system suitability test fails, do not start with the kit preparation. Please contact Biocrates support team at support at biocrates.com. Before starting with the kit preparation, centrifuge calibration standard and QC vials prior to opening for 2 minutes at 10,000 G to ensure that all lyophilized material is at the bottom of the tube. Carefully open and add 100 microliters of water to each of the 7 calibration standards and 3 QC samples. Vortex each for 10 seconds and invert the tube several times. Shake for 15 minutes at 1200 RPM and then vortex once more for 10 seconds. Gently tap the tubes on the table or briefly centrifuge for a few seconds to make sure that all of the solution is at the bottom of the tube. If working with plasma samples, vortex them for 10 seconds after thawing. Before pipetting any samples, please mind the respective labels on the Q500 and XL plates. Both plates can be prepared in parallel following the same layout for each. Pipette 10 microliters of PBS0 sample, calibration standards, quality controls, and study samples on both Q500 and XL plates according to the plate layout that was generated in WebIDQ. While pipetting, ensure that all of the sample is loaded directly onto the filter spot in the center of each well. You can gently touch each of the filter spots with the tip of the pipette to ensure good transfer of sample. Cover the XL plate with the provided plastic lid and dry the Q500 plate for 30 minutes under nitrogen using either a nitrogen evaporator or pressure manifold. While the first plate is drying, you can start to prepare the derivatization solution and extraction solvents. In a laboratory fume hood, prepare the premix for derivatization using the provided plastic tube. Add 1900 microliters of ethanol, water, and pyridine Close the tube and vortex briefly to mix. To create the derivatization solution, 
Shortly before the completion of the first drying step, add 300 microliters of phenyl isothiocyanate to the derivatization premix and vortex rigorously for at least 10 seconds until the solution becomes clear. While the XL plate is drying, take the derivatization solution prepared in the last step and pipette 50 microliters of solution to each well of the Q500 plate, including the blank. During the pipetting, make sure that the solution is pipetted in the middle of each well without touching anything. It's recommended to use a repeater pipette or single channel pipette for this step. After pipetting the derivatization solution, cover the Q500 plate with the plastic lid and incubate for one hour at room temperature. After the incubation period is completed, dry the Q500 plate again for one hour under nitrogen using either a nitrogen evaporator or pressure manifold. Add 300 microliters of extraction solvent to each well of both the Q500 and XL plates. It is recommended to use either a repeater pipette or a multi-channel pipette to dispense the extraction solvent. Set the pipette to a low dispense speed to ensure that there is no splashing in the wells. Cover both plates with their plastic lids and shake at room temperature for 30 minutes. Use a shaker with an adjustable speed, shaken in only two dimensions. If using an Eppendorf Thermo Mixer or MixMate, set the speed to 450 RPM. Otherwise, carefully adjust to a low shaking speed, ensuring that no splashing occurs between the wells. Centrifuge both plates for 2 minutes at 500 G. Ensure that the centrifuge is balanced. If using a pressure manifold, See the document entitled Instructions Using Pressure Manifolds for 96 Well Plates with Biocrates Kits, which is located in the Kit Files Instructions folder. After the elution step is completed, check that the solvent has eluted evenly across all wells. If it's observed that some wells have more extraction solvent in them than others, repeat the elution process once more. Carefully remove the tape from the sides of each kit plate. Separate the lower capture plate from the upper filter plate. Take care that there's no spilling or splashing during this process. For the dilution step, three empty 96 well plates provided with the kit will be used. Please mind the respective labels Q500 LC dilution, Q500 FIA dilution, and XL FIA dilution. For the Q500 plate, the extracts has to be split for LC and FIA parts respectively. For the LC part, Open the empty 96 well plate labeled Q500 LC dilution plate and place it next to the Q500 capture plate. Transfer 150 microliters from each well of the Q500 capture plate into the empty 96 well plate. Add 150 microliters of water to each well. Seal the plate with the provided silicone mat and shake the plate for 10 minutes at 600 RPM. For the FIA part, open the empty 96 well capture plate labeled Q500 FIA dilution plate and place it next to the Q500 capture plate. Add 490 microliters of FIA solvent into each well. Then transfer 10 microliters from each well of the Q500 capture plate into the 96 well plate. Seal the plate with the provided silicone mat and shake the plate for 10 minutes at 600 RPM. Install the solvents at the MS platform. The MXP Quant 500 XL kit column system is included in the starter package, and before starting with the LC system suitability test, install the column in the column oven. Please note the direction of the flow marked on the column. Condition the column first at 95% B at a flow rate of 0.4 microliters per minute. Turn on the column oven to 50 degrees Celsius and allow it to warm up. After 20 minutes, switch the flow rate to 100% A and begin to equilibrate the column. It would be recommended to start at a lower flow rate of 0.4 microliters per minute and slowly ramp up to 0.8 microliters per minute, keeping an eye on the column pressure. After diluting and shaking the plates, place the sealed plates in a cooled auto sampler at 10 degrees. Load the acquisition methods in the MS software and measure the plates as described in the user manual. Before starting with the kit preparation, prepare and install all mobile phases and wash solvents. Purge the solvent lines, then install and condition the MXP Quant 500 column system. 
Prepare the LC, FIA, and Excel test samples and blanks and run with their respective acquisition methods. If this is the first time kit set up, run the LC test samples using wider MRM collection windows to determine metabolite retention times. Then update these times in the final acquisition methods. Evaluate the performance of all the test samples and then perform troubleshooting if required. To begin the plate sample preparation, first generate a plate layout and work list in WebIDQ. Prepare calibration standards, QCs, and zero samples, and then thaw the study samples. Once all the samples are ready, pipette the zero, calibration standards, QCs, and the rest of your study samples according to the plate layout that you generated in WebIDQ. Following along with the instructions in the user manual, perform the derivatization, extraction, and finally the sample dilution to prepare the samples for LCMS analysis. To start the LCMS analysis, first import your work list into the MS Vendor software as a sample list or batch file. Run the LC part of the kit first, check the performance, and then set up the LCMS system for the FIA and FIA XL analysis. Run both the FIA and FIA XL parts of the kit and check the performance before proceeding. Quantify all the LC, FIA, and FIA XL data by importing the raw data files directly into WebIDQ. Assess the technical validation, and then finally, generate a report of all the results. 